Today, we'll be discussing a truly mixed mode circuit, wherein we are using, a, let us consider this, this is a spit trigger, which is having analog as input and digital as the output, which we have already discussed. This is nothing but a non-inverting spit trigger with hysteresis. That means output will, will be always high or low. Okay, so this is the digital output and then this is the integrator, the averaging circuit, okay, or the analog circuit, where whatever input you give that is integrated and appears at your output. So this is the D2A to A converter. So together they form a mixed mode circuit loop having D to A and A to D. That means actually speaking you can have analog as input, okay, or digit uh, analog as input or digital as input okay at this point and form it as uh, digital input and analog output or analog input and digital output okay circuit which is the sigma delta converter of today further this circuit is one of the most popular ICs as a function generator IC it has a square wave of uh, fixed amplitude plus minus Vs at this point and the triangular wave. The square wave gets converted to a triangular wave. We will presently see of a fixed frequency 1 by 4 Rc. How it is going to work? We will see this output is therefore assumed to be either at plus Vss or minus Vss. Let us take it as plus Vss. Then the current in this is Vss by R which is going to charge this capacitor this way this will be going negative right, at a rate which is Vss by R into C into T okay, with a negative score. Okay. And as soon as it reaches a certain point here where this voltage goes to zero, it is already at plus Vss. So this voltage at this point is nothing but Vss into R1 plus let us say V0 into R2 by R1 plus R2 when this becomes equal to 0 state changes. Now therefore this can happen when this is at plus Vs when this voltage reaches minus Vss into R1. At that time this goes to minus Vss and this slope changes to plus okay and that means it goes on increasing and it, as soon as it reaches now Okay, plus Vss into R1 by R2, it again changes. This piece keeps on happening infinitely. That means, basically speaking, we have the output here as minus Vss for the spit trigger, and this here it has gone to plus Vss, and this remained like that for some time. So that particular time period, okay, is called T by two this being T by 2. Charging and discharging occur at the same time constant and therefore the time taken to cover a voltage of twice Vss into R1 by R2 that is the total voltage cover okay is within a time T by 2 at a rate Vss by Rc. So this particular thing gives us the frequency at the time period as 4 Rc or the frequency as 1 over time period. For this becomes a highly stabilized amplitude square wave and triangular wave and this triangle can be converted by using diode function generator into precise uh, sine wave of required distortion okay or you can make it go through a saturating amplifier just to get to about 3 to 4 percent distortion sine wave. So that is the function generator for it. So it is. It has replaced all function gen, uh, RC oscillator, test oscillator circuits, which were earlier using wind bridge oscillator with this kind of chip, which is very cheap, okay, uh, for the laboratory purposes of generating waveforms. Further, it has plenty of use, okay, as a uh, loop, which is mixed mode in what are called as sigma delta converters, which is one of the most important mixed mode unit which is existing in today's space, right? And uh, it is also usable 
in developing later on we'll see class D power amplifiers which are currently used as audio power amplifiers all over okay where the active device is always used as a switch and therefore we can uh, do the continuous modulation of the width in order to uh, sort of amplify power Okay, that is the most efficient way of doing it. Another uh, particular case of such application is the uh, switch remote power supply, which we are also going to discuss. So this, as a building block, is the sigma delta converter, is used in SMPS and is used in function generators. It is also called, uh, if you convert it into a voltage controlled oscillator, which we will presently do by replacing this integrator with, again, multiplier integrator combination that we did earlier in self-tuning filter. So if you use this as VC and then replace the integrator of that use this, using this plot, then frequency F0 becomes VC by okay, VR to 4 hours. So if VR is 10, it is VC by 40 hours. So, it becomes a voltage control oscillator or it can be used as FM generator. So, the modulating frequency is given here. Immediately, it modulates the carrier frequency by this particular thing. If VCQ is the coefficient frequency determining voltage, then uh, FQ is the carrier frequency which is VCQ by 40 RC and then the varying sine wave okay, of omega m is applied over that the frequency is directly modulated by omega m this is the modulating frequency this causes the frequency deviation this is the carry right? so this way you can use for FM generator or FSK generator this is what is used in modulator part of the modem right so modem is nothing but where vc is going high or low thereby changing the frequency of oscillation to uh, one value corresponding to high another value corresponding to low so that is called frequency shift key so we see that this has one of the most uh, wide range application in present day electronics and this is something that we must study okay and kvco of this is again delta f naught by delta vc which is nothing but okay f naught so the function generator circuit that we had just discussed it can produce a triangular wave okay has an important application in what is called pulse width modeling so just with only one more comparator circuit, we can make sure that the uh, actually with by giving a little bit of uh, positive regenerative feedback, we can make sure that the output is always at plus Vs or minus Vs. Right? So now let us say a, a triangular wave input is given to this with peak amplitude Vp, then and the time period equal to T, then this is the V reference applied to the other end of the comparator. As soon as this voltage at the input goes above V reference, it goes to uh, plus Vss as shown here. And as soon as it goes below this V reference, it goes to minus Vss. So we are able to control the what is called duty cycle. What is the duty cycle? This tau by t is called the duty cycle. Based on the v value of V reference. Right? Now using the similar triangles here, we can write the height of the smaller triangle which is Vp minus V reference divided by the height of the larger triangle is nothing but tau by uh, t by 2 t by 2 is that of the larger triangle and vp is its height this is vp minus v reference okay and tau is its width okay so 
Well, this gives you the fact that uh, tau by t is directly proportional to a v reference in the following manner. So if uh, v reference is uh, sinusoidal, then the width is going to change sinusoidal. This is called pulse width modulation. Right? And this is the output corresponding to the switch. This can activate a MOS switch also so that it can handle the power. And then we can put an inductor and a capacitor as efficient rectifier, uh, what is that, uh, filter, so that the output is the average of this. What is the average of this waveform? We can say that it is there as VSS for tau and minus VSS for T minus tau and the time period is T. Therefore, the average of this is nothing but VSS into 2 tau by T minus 1. And what is 2 tau by T minus 1? This is already established. 2 tau by T okay, minus 1 corresponding to minus V reference by VP. So this also becomes a multiplier but most efficient multiplier and it does not depend upon the uh, device characteristic at all. So this is one of the most accurate multiplier because one input is the amplitude and the other input corresponds to the width is V reference. Okay? So it multiplies two voltages and therefore this information is very useful because we get back the if this is sinusoid we get back the sinusoid. Okay, at the output at high power level very efficiently and therefore this is used as class D power amplifier stage and presently you will see that on audio stages make use of the device MOSFET or anything as the switching device okay and the information can be at high power level efficiently converted into uh, audio power at the output you can directly activate the speaker okay and uh, that is one application another application is where this is nothing but the DC to DC converter that this DC voltage VSS which can be unregulated can be controlled at the output by changing V reference by feedback that becomes a switch in the mode power supply which we are going to discuss later